what is up guys and of course welcome to our team analysis against the Rosa Raiden Borg of course Danky in our VPL week 5 battle now his team was extremely tough to actually prep him for mostly because I have months that can take him on but he does have a distinct advantage of having the likes of uh, Mega Septal, which actually does outspeed my team fairly nicely in that fashion. Like it's it's insanely good when it comes to that kind of way because there are only so many decisions I can make around that and still be on par with him. Now, only thing I did pretty much decide on was which Pokemon has to come, and um, I actually didn't look too much to his team, though I could obviously introduce it to you. It's Manaphy, Thunder's Eye, Assumeril, Mamoswine, Infernape, like that combo is just sick, uh, Mega Sceptile, Meloetta, Goldbat, Sorark, Misprit, Golgeist, and Regirock. So, you know, he has a lot of defensive capabilities to get it with actually very, very high offense capabilities and, you know, plus Thunders, which paralyze everything in, his, in, in, you know, everything ever. So, I really, really, really hate this kind of matchup because, like I said, there are only so many things I can do. And Danky also a very very good player, which means that I am kind of expecting to, no matter what I prep for, that he still can maintain momentum against me. I have a more offensive team, mind you, but with the likes of Thunder's Eye, there are only so much I can do against that before I actually lose momentum due to paralyzation. So my team is as follows: Tornadus, Dianchi, Lanios, Jellicent, and Palaswine. Those were the five that had to come for this battle, no matter what. Uh, what matchup they are going to work and going to work well and the last fell on Scolipede. Scolipede was it was between Scolipede, Trevenant and Tauros. Uh, Tauros might actually have a distinct edge for this battle but also it doesn't have speed and necessary stuff and guys just simply wall that so therefore the reason that he didn't come. And for Trevenant it basically came down to it can't take on Founder's Eye as well as I hoped for, and it's completely walled out by Golbat. As outside of that, Trevenant is actually really nice with this kind of matchup, uh, has a lot of things going for it outside of that, and actually with Assault Vest could take on Mega Septile, Manaphy, Assumeril, and to some extent even Mamoswine. Uh, I say it to some extent because Avalanche or Icicle Crash just forced me down a lot, and you know, it, it's gonna come down to whether or not I can take him. Uh, would be flinched afterwards. If I do survive it, uh, then Horn Leech would have been able to actually be close to KOing it. So I like the idea. Sadly, I couldn't transpire that into motion. And Scolopy was the better call. So, with that said, we're gonna go over Scolopy's moveset. It is an adamant set with enough speed to outspeed Manaphy, and um, that's really all I need here. It's for a specific matchup, that's really all I need. Um, actually, no, not even outspeeding that. I think we had. Damn, what did we have speed? We had to buy that, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we have basically HP investment and uh, max attack. And the thing is here, uh, I only need one speed boost and I'm basically faster than anything else. I have to watch out for any possible Scarfer, of course. But at the same time, um, hopefully a plus one, I do outspeed the necessary stuff anyway. And I only actually decided to go for Poison Jab and Mega Horn. Because while Rock Slide could have been an option for, of course, Golbat, I still do around 30%. Braver will kill me, so it's not really worth it. So I actually decided to go for Baton Pass instead, passing the speed on to the monster that I can take on the team better. Because Mega Sceptile is faster, that's a fact. But it's got a matchup at least. Uh, so yeah, no, nothing real, really big to it. It's gonna be a helpful mon, obviously, for this matchup, but. It's not ideal, but then again, the other fives were the ones that didn't make it. Scholar PDB is mainly there because the other ones aren't just as good. Uh, next one is, of course, Palace Wine, and this time mixed wall actually, going for a lot of special defense and HP, but also some physical defense to be able to take a close combat from an Infernape if he goes for a Life Orb set. I do believe the close combat does 85% after, oh, so I can take that after Rocks too. Which is important, of course. And we have Earthquake, Icicle Crash, Ice Shot, and of course, the Mighty Mighty Stealth Rocks, which could be crucial for this specific game, mostly due to Thunder's Eye. I have to wall the thing down. And Gold Bat is also a thing that falls down versus Palace Wine. Here's the thing with Palace Wine um, I can freely set up rocks without really having to worry about Gold Bat Deep Fogging because it's. 
It's about it. Don't really win that matchup due to him being weak to me and he's risking a lot of damage deep fogging as I go for an Isaac Crash. He's actually close to killing a gold bat due to the extra attack investment that is actually there also to one hit KO Mega Sceptile. So yeah, Mega Sceptile can be o code by of course Palace Swine. It's um it's a nasty kind of situation. I kinda like that Palace Swine keeps on coming back to my team where it's a, it's not a mana I usually like. But the typing makes it good, and the moves it can utilize makes it fairly good. So, I miss Mammoth Swine, but Palace Swine is definitely not a, a much, much worse Pokemon uh, than I actually did expect it to be. Um, anyway, next time it's going to be here, followed up by Jellicent next time. What did I say that? <laughs> anyway, Jellicent. Jellicent is actually max defense, max HP this time. Don't need it anything else. Like I need something to take on Infernape. Um, that's pretty much it. Manaphy can do too much to me. Thunder's Eyes, Thunderbolt will kill me anyway. So you know, fuck it. Um, and of course, I need to be able to take hits from Asumarill. I have Colberberry. For Asumarill, might have knockoff and it might be banded. Uh, I have some speed investment to hopefully take on the. Um, if you actually have a is it a speedier variant of. Alright, you guys, you just record this in the morning, sorry about that. But if it's uh, Asumarill is a faster variant than at least I can outspeed it, so I don't believe I was fan. I think I'm max HP, but not max defense now that I think about it. Uh, but not a lot, I mean, I'm basically faster if he creeps me, that's about it. Um, outside of that, I really didn't need anything with Yellicent. It's gonna be a Will O' Whisper. Just shut down the monsters that actually are weak to Will O' Wisp. I was debating to bring a Salt Vest variant to be able to take on Mega Sceptile, but I have another mod for that that actually fits that role much, much, much better. Um, though I did like the idea of Geek Rain, Ice Beam Skull, and yeah, what was it, Dark Pulse, I do believe, is a perfect coverage for the complete team for do super effective damage to get to a Salt Vest. But I decided that I need something to take hits, and Sally Gillison does that really well. <laughs> so it's a Shadow Ball set with Skull, Will O'Wisp, and Recover. Um, next one is Tornadus, and that is the one that is my number one switch in for his Mega Sceptile. If it's a Timid set, which is forced to be since I have a Swallowpeed on my team, then uh, Dragon Pulse does under 50%, so I can come in, take it, probably retaliate and stay in, and still be good. Um, the only issue is, of course, of landing those Hurricanes. Um, the complete set here is actually Hurricane, Knockoff, um, sludge Weave, and I do believe I sell it for Grass Knot in case of Mammo. So I went with close to fully special set here. Uh, did not go for any niche kind of uh, nature. I actually went for Timid directly, be able to actually creep the. I think it was the Thunderous I was creeping. Uh, so I'm faster than that naturally. But outside of that, it's pretty much special attack and bulk. Uh, the bulk is there to actually take an Ice Shard, basically from Mammoth Swine. I can take an Ice Shard. Uh, from a life or mammoth swine from 70%, so I'm feeling rather safe for that kind of matchup. Uh, obviously, not ideal by any chance of the imagination, but uh, I have to scout if it is life or not, depending on you know which situation I'm feeling when it comes to tornadoes. But outside of that, if he is a life orb set, then he's gonna wheel himself down rather fast too. But um, yeah, grass not nice. Grass, grass not always kills the mammoth, which is awesome for any sense of imagination. And Sludge Wave is there for a Sumerill. Uh, because I don't want to risk the hurricane. Uh, I shouldn't be able to risk the hurricane unless I need to. Um, and knockoff is there for Meloetta. Just bop. And also for gold bats, so none of them can bulk themselves out. Same with Gore Guys there. Um, it's not a real fun switching for him to, of course, get a knockoff on. And the hurricane should kill it, and so goes for Mesprit. And of course, Grass with Ready Rock. Tornadoes might just be the most versatile Pokemon for this specific game. Uh, it takes on a pleasure of his matchup. While not the best Pokemon in this kind of matchup, it is still the best I got for the whole situation. Uh, and next one is gonna be Latios, and this time we're actually only speed creeping uh, Manaphy and not Infernape. And you might be wondering why, and the reason is bulk. It's yet again, you know, the ice shard situation. Um, Infernape really can't do too much to me outside of U turn. And if he goes for U-turn, I'm not gonna hit him anyway in the first place. So the complete set is Dragon Pulse, Psychic, and Energy Ball to get it with Recover. Um, I do assume here that um, 
I have to be faster than Manaphy, like that's the only mod that matters, but I really needed that extra bulk. And I was debating just had Dragon Pulse Energy Ball, but that made Golbat somewhat hard to kill. And I could optimize for Draco, but it could just roost that away, and that would make, make my Latios uh, sitting duck for this specific matchup. Or oh, Latias, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, outside of that, it's, um, it's a crucial mod for this matchup, for sure. Um, having a good speed on it, and... Uh, is able to do heavy damage on the things that matters. Now, I was debating to have Healing Wish on this, but nah. I kind of want this guy to stay around for the complete game, because it's probably one of the few mods I have that can stay in against Infernape. Uh, naturally, actually can stay in against a lot of matchup naturally due to its speed and somewhat of a relevant bulk. Uh, we have Color Bearing in case of um, he do some shenanigans with, of course, his Thunder's Eye, which obviously has to go for Dark Pulse against me. And the same thing with, um, I do believe, if you use Star Arc, and I can stand against that too, in case you go for a Sucker Punch, in case I'm forced to attack it. And the last mod is, of course, Mega Dianchi. And, you know, what else can I say? This guy does so much damage on this whole team. Now, we have a big issue, and that is that we don't outspeed everything on the team. We don't outspeed Thunder's Eye. We don't outspeed Mega Sceptile. That's a big annoyance for me, but outside of that, it does the job. We have Diamond Storm here to get rid of, of course, Moonblast and Rock Polish Protect. Uh, don't really need anything else outside of that. It does the job well. Now, we don't OCO the whole team, but um, if I'm getting my rocks up, then eventually most things will fall to it due to him or her doing roughly 80% on any mon, even when it comes to natural damage, which is kind of funny. Um, when it comes to Golbat though, uh, Diamond Storm, if it's full defensive, does over 50%. I do believe that's important that we do over 50%, that means that he can't roost that away, or he could roost it away. But um, he's getting it's, it's a risky thing to do, and if of course rocks on the field, then that's just get a hell lot worse. And Gore guys, I do believe was the only mod that could take Moonblast naturally after rocks. So yeah. Um, I, I like the NG for this matchup, um, but yeah, it's probably the whole reason Scarlet Peter's here in the first place. If I can pass speed to the NG, then this game is pretty much over. Um, there are only so many things he can do, but if Thunder's Eye can't outspeed it, and in Mega Sceptile can't outspeed it, they will die, and they will die dead. So I basically have to watch out for the things that can take hits, such as, of course, Manaphy, um, Meloetta. And I do believe Core Guys were the one that could take a hit for Talia and probably kill me. Uh, but the rest kind of falls against the NG. And um, if I have to make an um, honest suggestion of what he's going to bring, um, his top six mons are viable for this battle. Both Manaphy, Asumril, and Thunder's Eye, Mammoth Swan, Inferno, and Mega Sceptile fits the bar here really nicely. But I feel that he knows that he needs um, some kind of uh, speeder capability. So Golbat must come. Uh, I can see Sorar coming, uh, I really, really, really can, but the rest I'm feeling less for. Meloetta, Mesprit, I don't see, Regirock I don't see for this battle, Gore guys could be Nishi, but I feel that it has relevance for this battle, but um, yeah, his first six mon are the best against me for sure. Um, if I would see him switch out for anything, I'd probably say that he'd given up either Manaphy or Mam Swine. None of those, those two for Gold Bats. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm feeling that this game is gonna be very, very tough. Uh, definitely for me, at least, because I know Danky has the option here of playing a very, very aggressive game with little to no risk because of my, well, few options when it comes to switch ins. So basically, I'll see how I settle that or solve that, to be completely honest. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, we're gonna have the battle today, so I'm. I'm Feeling, I'm feeling well. I'm feeling I can do this, um, but we just have to see. Um, oh my god, I hate, I hate these kinds of game. I know Danky is a very, very good player, which only makes it so much worse. But yeah, that's pretty much the team analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, of course, and you'll see the upload should be followed the same day, so you should see it very, very soon. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.